this is Rosie. Rosie's a Chesapeake and she's about four years old. She's a light brown and her coat is uh, really dry and bleached out because she's ready to blow it. She's uh, probably still stressed from the puppies growing inside her. And uh, she's about 55 days right now. She's about a week from delivery. And um, when dogs are going to deliver puppies, they, uh, they, their temperature drops uh, from 101 to 98. And usually then they'll start uh, doing their nesting behavior, getting ready to deliver. Uh, so <clears throat> with, with, with dogs, you want to make sure one thing you can check and see if dogs will transmit worms to the baby, so it's good to worm a, a, a dog that's going to have babies. And usually you can start around age, uh, around 45 days of uh, pregnancy the puppies and then if you use a, a warmer that's safe, like Panicure, then uh, you can warm the, the, the mother and then you can continue warming the puppies when they come out. But sometimes what we do in, in a dog that's pregnant is we take an x-ray because we want to know how many puppies are there and um, so that we have an idea. The more puppies there are, the better chance that they deliver them normally um, the, because one big puppy can get stuck of course if there and if there's a lot of puppies sometimes they will get tangled up but um, but usually the more puppies there are the better now if a dog has too many puppies sometimes they'll wear out if they're uh, trying to give birth and it's just an ongoing process uh, the, their, their body just it's a stressful event, and um, it's hard to push out all those puppies. It's just a muscle, remember, the uterus is a muscle. So anyway, I'll show you on the x-ray what we look for when we uh, are counting puppies and why we take an x-ray. So she's about, you, uh, x-rays, you can only take x-rays after 45 days. That's when the skeletons of the puppies start to show. You can do ultrasounds earlier um, in 35 days or so, and you can even go towards 30, but sometimes it's harder to see with an ultrasound. Um, and then there are pregnancy tests now that you can run uh, for dogs, and you can see if they're pregnant or not. So anyway, let's go take a look on the x-ray and see what that looks like. Rosie, let's look at your x-ray. So um, here's the spine, Rosie's spine. Here's Rosie's leg. Here's Rosie's belly, and if you look at each one of those round things, those are skulls. And if I were to take my measuring device and run it across like that, you can see that the skulls measure about 30 millimeters, 3 centimeters. And we kind of check out all the skulls there are. So if you start looking, you can see there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. So we look around, and there's a spine, and there's a, there's a spine that looks like maybe a head right there, and that looks like there's a spine there. So you can see, it, it's, here's a lot of food up in here. This is the stomach. So the babies are in the uterus around the stomach. So sometimes it gets hard to count in those areas. But anyway, after I counted, and then I used different couple different shots and you can see all the spines of the baby see that so they're all crowded in there and uh, we'll even take one from the top here's the spine here's the pelvis here's the hips and you can see the spines all through here too so that's what we do when we count babies we, after 45 days we can take x-rays and we can give the owner an idea how many babies we can even measure the skull like that and then we can measure uh, on the hip, we can see how big the hips are, and if the, if the baby will fit out, so uh, fit out of that, so or through that, so we can see that the baby's head is about 36 millimeters, and there's about 55 millimeters distance. So, in another week, it'll grow a little bit more, maybe to 40, but it uh, looks like there's plenty of room in the pelvis. So we can do the same thing here. We can measure from here down to the pelvis and we can see 46 so it's a little bit tighter fit there but the pelvis will widen up as she gets closer to delivery so anyway that's what we do when we uh, check when we check to see if uh, a dog's pregnant 
we can use our ultrasound early on, 30, 30 days, and I think I, I think I have a video on the ultrasound, or we can take x-rays after day 45 so we can count the puppies and see how big their heads are to see if they're going to fit through that pelvis. Ultrasound's a little tough to, to count puppies on because it, it's harder to see the individual puppies. So we're going to worm Rosie uh, with a panicure. So let me grab that real quick. And uh, you can use that. Um, you can use a regular panicure liquid to worm your, your, um, your pregnant dogs and also puppies. You'll have to get the dosages online or from your veterinarian. It's about 25 milligrams per pound. And each, uh, this is 100 uh, milligrams per cc. So you got to calculate that out. <laughs> but anyway, so we'll worm her and uh, we'll give her some oral wormer, huh, Rosie? You want your oral wormer? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, she got a little bit of it. That's good. All those bad worms will go away. Well, have a great day.